And tonight marks the end of an error as a Bakersfield landmark shut off its lights for the final time. 23 ABC's Joe Hankey is live in studio with how shoppers said goodbye to the Green Frog Market. The Green Frog Market opened back in 1934. Today was its last day in business, however. The market had been in its current location, location over on the corner of Alta Vista Drive and Bernard Street for the last 67 years. The Green Frog Market was the first supermarket in Kern County, and we stopped by the store today as a piece of Bakersfield history closed for good. Back in the Green Frog's early days, two dozen lemons were 29 cents and sirloin steak 18 cents a pound. Customers at the market Sunday might have thought they had returned to those prices. The shelves were empty, though, as the current owners prepared to close the doors for good. I could cry. It, it, they're a wonderful family. Charlie was a good, he was a really a good man. He was good hearted. As long as you were, you were fine, but you had to work. Charlie Everett owned the Green Frog until 88 when he passed away. His family kept the store open, but now the industry has changed. They accepted an offer to buy the business, and the doors closed for good at 8 p.m. tonight. It was one of those opportunities that, as a businessman, you look at and you say, is this the best time to move forward in a different direction? And this was one of those times for us. But for the Green Frogs regulars and longtime customers, moving on won't be easy. This was the heart and soul, I think, of this community because it's been here so long. The current owners appreciate the loyalty they have been shown over the years. But we look back on, on all the things that we've done here, all the opportunities we've had. We look back with fondness and very appreciative of the community and the way that they've taken care of us and the loyalty of our customers. Ruby Jones started working at the market in 53, or maybe it was 55, she says. Well, she can't remember the exact year, she does remember being nervous. Because I didn't know anybody. But Roy Vibe, who is deceased now, our produce man, and uh, Inez Morris, who was the, the first checker, and they really made me feel at home, both of them did. Several longtime customers and former employees like Ruby Jones gathered today at the market to share memories. The spot where the market stands is now set to become a Dollar General. In the studio, Joe Henke, 23, ABC.